Thank you. Uh, when I first found out that I was speaking 13 out of 14, I, I was a little upset, but I said, why do you got me towards the end like this? But uh, I'm glad that it happened because I get to respond to some of the earlier comments that were made about particular things that I, I find kind of interesting. Uh, I would like to thank South Point as well. I went to Sunnyside. I want to thank South Point for my fiance, for one. <laughs> I, I, thank you. Uh, also, the seven carries, 150 yards, three touchdowns that you guys let me get. <laughs> I wanna, hey, I want you to know I appreciate it because that was the game that put me on the map to where I got interviewed weekly. I want you to know that. I appreciate that. Because uh, everybody was, oh, South Point, South Point. Yes, I like South Point too. <laughs> so I just wanted to keep the South Point thing rolling before I got into to what I had to say. Uh, my brother, Mr. Bates, I know it's hard for you to talk about yourself, but I sent back an encyclopedia of the shit that I had done on my life. <laughs> because. I, it was so great, I just didn't know what, and they told me, trim it down a little bit, and I said, okay. So, the committee, I want to thank you uh, for not only accepting me, but putting me in this position to, to come up here and, and show my gratitude for uh, uh, what's, what uh, has transpired. My mother asked me the other day, she says, you know, I've heard you speak several times, son, and I don't know how you do it. You, you don't take no notes, you just go up there and speak. And I said, well, Mom, if you're speaking about something you know about, you don't need notes. If you're speaking about yourself, you don't need notes. If you want to say thank you, you don't need notes because you should know who those people are. So when people are nominated for things like this, the first thing out of their mouth was, oh, I can't believe it, which isn't true. <laughs> I, I'm not saying that I can't believe it. What I'm saying is that I'm humbled that people respect the blessings that I was given. I was given a, a, a lot of skill to perform on the football field, and, and, and uh, for you guys to respect that, it really means a lot to me because uh, most of the people didn't think I could do what I did, and uh, I just would like to say thank you for that. Uh, the first thank yous I want to go through are for people that aren't here. Uh, Coach Petty, who passed away, was my high school coach. Uh, I really appreciate everything that he's done for me, and, and that was a, just a beautiful thing, the relationship that we had. Coach Larry Smith, who recruited me to the U of A, uh, he called me 12.30 in the morning, the morning of signing day, and he happened to have a scholarship for me. He hadn't recruited me all year, and I was like, sure. I'll go to the U of A. Do you mind if me and my mom come to the sign? He says, no, that's a, not a problem. But uh, it ended up working out fantastically for both of us. Uh, and I told him that before he passed away, that I was appreciative for the opportunity. And um, to be able to play in your hometown was a phenomenal thing. The next person is my grandmother. My grandmother loved me to death. She wouldn't watch me play because she doesn't want to watch people jumping on her baby. <laughs> so she would never watch me play, but I had to call her after the game and say, I did this, I did that. And she was like, okay, are you hurt? And I said, no, everything is fine. But she taught me that. She says, David, whatever you do, don't try to be one of the best. Be the best. So they have to come and join your team. And that's the way I've carried myself through my life. I've always tried to be the best that I could be or that could be done because of the little things that she told me. And uh, I was asked the other day, if you could take a blue pill and bring somebody back, or a red pill and be a billionaire, which one would you take? And I would take that blue pill any minute just to hug my grandmother again because I loved her so much and she was just a great woman. And I, I just really want to thank her for encouraging me to, to do some of the things that I did. Uh, the next person I want to, to say thank you to, it was in 1972, we were playing stickball, where you set the ball on the, on the tee, tee ball, excuse me, and you hit it. I could have played baseball too, Jerry, but I just didn't. <laughs> uh, 
I hit the ball, and I'm running home, and I, I'm safe, but the coach calls me out. So, of course, being the person I hate to lose, I pick up a rock, and I throw it at him, and I hit him in his leg, and he kept walking. I'm like, that son of a gun didn't feel it. So I pick up another rock, and he turns around and says, who threw that rock? And I'm thinking, my teammates got my back. David. <laughs> so we take, he takes me into the PE room, and he introduces me to the holy man. Now, you guys don't know what the holy man is. The holy man is the paddle with the holes in it, so there's no wind resistance. <laughs> this is when school was really school. So he gives me, he gives me these swats and tells me, I know you hate to lose, but you gotta learn how to lose. And I'm like, saying words that eight-year-olds shouldn't know in my mind, of course, because I don't want another swat. And I'm like, you know, I think I understand what you're saying, but you know, I still hate you. <laughs> but uh, Terry Seward, I love you. And uh, it's hard to explain how, how that transpired, how, how we grew together after all the, these years, but this, this wouldn't be right. It wouldn't feel right if you weren't here with me to celebrate this. And I, I just want to say that I, I love you so much. Thanks. Thank you. The next person I would like to, to, to thank, a lot of people say, well, yeah, I've known this person for 40 years. You've known of a person for 40 years, but this person I've known for 40 years. We sat on the balcony at the apartments that we lived in and we dreamed together. Yeah, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have that, and we're gonna do a lot of things together. And we've been friends for 40 years. And when you know something is right, it's when he doesn't have any brothers, I don't have any brothers, I have two sisters, he has one sister, and you knew that it was meant for us to be brothers. I think somebody's trying to tell me to shut up. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, uh, Murphy, 40 years is a long time. And I love you, brother. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I really wouldn't. Is the battery's out? Oh, is somebody, hello? Somebody trying to tell me something? Uh huh. This is a trick. That's why they put me at the end. <laughs> but uh, Murph, you know, we we we've made millions together, and unfortunately, we've lost millions together. But we're going to get them back, and we'll be on on, on the right path because uh, we we believe in each other. And I, I hope you guys can hear me because this is a trick. I know it. And. I just want you to know that, that, that I love you from deep inside my heart. Uh-huh. Well, let me just speak up a little bit.